everybody, welcome to another Articat 650H1 video. If you were to watch the last video where we removed all the control arms and the axles, today's video, we're going to pull that front differential out and we're going to get ready to rebuild it. So this is what we're looking at right here. You need to remove that bolt, that bolt, remove the locker. And that is your uh, so-called breather. But I think... The 4x4 actuator can stay, just gotta disconnect the electrical. I think we'll be able to feed it out. We gotta get that wire out. So for the locker cable, you gotta slide it forward to the notch and then slide the whole pin and everything up. So what I did is I backed this jam nut off. So now all I gotta do, gives me a little bit more room, push that cable down and slide her out just like that. I just removed the air breather, that's pretty straightforward, didn't need to show that. Squeeze that clip together, pull it down, pull the breather off. Let's get this bolt out, this bolt out, and then see if we can wiggle this out. Okay, this is where the fun begins. The two bolts are out for the differential. Now back here, if you've never had your engine out, you're gonna have a metal band here. You're gonna have to cut. I already slid the rubber apart. There's a spline shaft that fits in there. So you're gonna have to get it out of the spline shaft before you can pull the differential out. And that's where I think this bracket right here has to come off. That way you can get the height and kind of pull it forward. bars out will give us a lot more room people said this is a tight fit to get in and out let's see what happens oh come on yes Differentials out, it's on the table, wasn't too hard, but then again, I don't have the radiator installed, so that probably made a big difference. Let's have a closer look at it now before we strip it down in the next video. You can see there's mud, rust. You can see where the seal is a little deformed right there. See what the backside wasn't leaking. Look at all that mud in there. God damn it, this is going to be nasty. So I got a complete bearing and seal kit, so it looks like the differential splits in the back here. So we will have to remove this after all. Pull this cover off. Tag says 3.6, that must be the gear ratio. 
I'm gonna end the video there. Stay tuned to the next video when we tear this thing apart and see what kind of damage there is. I got a rebuild kit. Hopefully that's all I need, but that's to be determined. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching.